what do you have any other tips on um, creating great characters in general, villains and heroes? Um, yeah, I mean. them likable obviously making them unique and interesting giving them some internal conflict that actively sabotages their external conflict is really important um so and we talked about that with logan um putting them on a journey that that doesn't leave any threads undone so making sure that they have that that resolution in the end is incredibly important um, making sure you have supporting characters that that reflect um, aspects of the hero um, that that allows them to interact and, and show aspects of the hero that you need to sell to the audience in order to really get them behind you. Are they likable? Are they are they frustrated? Are they angry? You know, you know, like like uh, Logan's relationship with uh, with um, Professor X, for instance. Oh. You know. His his relationship there is definitely uh, uh, one of a son who has to take care of an elderly father. So there's the regret and the resentment that he has to do that. But then a deep love for him, and then moments of where he's embarrassed by his dad. You know, like at the almost uh, killing er almost killing everybody because he has a seizure. Got it? (laughs) Yeah, yeah. So yeah, there's there's all these these moments in, in building in that relationship allows us to see different aspects of Logan. Um, and kind of get into that onion that you're talking about. 